Bashir, a Polisario Western Sahara's representative in Sweden and Norway. Could you tell us a little bit about the history of Western Sahara? Yes, so Western Sahara, my country, is considered the last colony in Africa and it has been under the occupation of Morocco for the last uh, almost 50 years. Uh, today, Western Sahara is a divided country. We have um, the majority of Western Sahara under the occupation of Morocco in the occupied territories where people live under repression, human rights violations. There is really no freedom whatsoever for people to exist. It's essentially live in hell. The other half of my people, which live in refugee camps in southwest Algeria, which is where I was born and grew up my whole life, completely dependent on aid, humanitarian aid from uh, UNHCR, World Food Program, and others. Um, and it's really unfortunate that we still have this case of uh, unfinished uh, decolonization process in Africa. Uh, could you tell us a bit about today's situation in the area as well? Yeah, maybe what has changed a bit is that since November 2020, there has been a resumption of uh, armed conflict between the National Liberation Movement of Western Sahara Polisario, which I represent, and the occupying forces of Morocco. So there is daily confrontations along the military wall that divides Western Sahara. It's the longest military wall in the world, with 2,700 kilometers long. Um, but also, the, unfortunately, the human ra humanitarian situation in the camps has really gotten worse because uh, humanitarian organizations are, have gotten tired of, you know, s providing emergency support to us in the refugee camps. But also, uh, it's really sad to see that Morocco has escalated and intensified its repression against human rights defenders and activists in occupied Western Sahara with no international observers, with no international protection whatsoever. And the UN mission in Western Sahara does not even have the mandate to document and report on human rights uh, violations in Western Sahara. So uh, that's where we are today. And uh, why we have this occupation is because Western Sahara is very rich in natural resources. So Morocco is stealing our resources with the help of European companies and, and European Union even uh, are helping to sustain and maintain this occupation. Uh, to sum this up, how do you see the future? I see the future as going back to my country. Uh, I've never been to occupied Western Sahara. Like I said, born and raised in refugee camps. And uh, we're very optimistic that if we have more mobilization and more people know about this injustice in Northwest Africa, that Western Sahara could be liberated and independent and that the people of Western Sahara could finally have the right to self-determination and have uh, decide their fate and, and go back to our independent uh, Western Sahara soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>